Hi, I'm Shane Murray with Northern Lights. We're here in Malmo, Sweden at Hack Night 2. Tonight I'm interviewing Peter Sunda of the Pirate Bay. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Yes. Um, your discussion about the Pirate Bay was very interesting, but I understand that you're involved in several other projects as well. W would you like to talk about any of those? Well, uh, there's one of the projects which I, I spend most of my time with, which is called Flatter. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a way for people to, instead of share just files, they can share uh, money. Because um, there's always been this discussion with the Pirate Bay that how will people make, make money from, from file sharing? Because everything is for free. And uh, I kind of wanted to make a system which would actually allow people to, to share money the same way that they, um, they share other types of digital information. Uh, and Flatter is kind of the solution in my, my world for uh, some of these uh, more interesting types of money sharing. So is Flatter based on sort of a pay it forward concept? You could say that. At the same time, it's, uh, I, I believe in, in people's will to actually, uh, or should I say, p pay for what they, what they use or show some sort of respect or, uh, or that. I don't see it as a money, as a payment system. I see it more as a money sharing system because uh, it's for people to uh, participate rather than just uh, you know, look at something and then leave. It's uh, to involve them. Have you thought about Flatter as perhaps something that could provide liquidity to social capital markets? Well, uh, it could, but it's, uh, there's other systems for that, like Kickstarter and so on. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, Flatter is, is more uh, about, uh, firstly, it's to make people realize that they are actually making content themselves. I'm, I'm so tired of this producer uh, being you know, someone who does something for a living. Uh, with Flatter, you can be flattered and actually receive money for something as stupid as a funny comment on a blog post, um, which kind of changes uh, people's mindset, which is kind of my goal. So it's really important with Flatter that what you're flattering is unique content. Well, uh, it doesn't have to be unique. It has to be uh, presented in a way that you're interested in or something which makes you actually like it. So consider it uh, the like button from Facebook, but with added w value that it actually means some sort of money. Uh, where do you hope Flatter is in, say, five years? What's uh, I hope... Uh, well, it could be different hopes. Um, I hope that it, it's widely used. I hope it's um, super cheap to use. I hope it's super simple to use. And uh, you know, I hope it changes people's feeli feelings about themselves and, and look more up to what they do and appreciate themselves more. Or what are Flutter's challenges right now What, what in terms of actually getting adopted? Well, it's uh, kind of getting, right now it's kind of Firstly, it's a technology barrier that we have to make the technology a bit easier, and we're working hard on that. And then it's to get some of the big, um, what should I say, distribution channels on board. Because uh, there's a lot of content which is really interesting on the web, uh, but it's controlled by distributors, and the distributors has to support Flatter for that uh, to be available there. So it's a lot about partnerships. Y yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't call it partnerships. It's more about what the partners. Our partners are the users, of course. Uh, distributing sites like YouTube and so on, well, they should just open up so we can have our partners. If Flatter th thrives, what do you think that says about humanity? It says that people uh, are essentially good uh, and interested in helping other people out on the terms that, you know, if people do something good, there will be some sort of reward for it. Um, you know, uh, and uh, if people do something good, the reward will be good enough to keep doing it. So, uh, Take for instance, I, I always go back to f photographers and bloggers when I talk about Flatter. Um, if you blog today, you usually don't get any money, maybe for some advertisement, which you don't like. But with Flatter, your, your users can actually say, hey, I like this blog post you did so much that I'm going to give you some money. And in the end, this person can maybe take a day or two or maybe a week off his normal job and do this. So it kind of makes people, it, it buys time for people. Okay, so it's it kind of a platform maybe for people to go from an amateur to a semi-pro or to take more yeah. time to spend in what they really enjoy yeah, so and love to do. Yes, yeah, so I, I want to rather remove the amateur semi-pro pro thing. I'm just going to be everybody is doing things they like. I think that's pretty important, especially in this day and age. So. Yeah, I think so. You know, everybody... So, so information today is so cheap because it's, it's free. Essentially, it's free. Uh, so you have to put some sort of time surrounding it to organize it or uh, to make it accessible or understandable and the metadata of data is the new data kind of. 
you know, I've been finding in, in a lot of networking, both uh, real life and on the web and so on and so forth, that a lot of people are very siloed into their camps and whatnot. And it seems that Flatter really helps to promote the cross-pollinization of ideas, especially when you're following the Flatter uh, 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 trends and whatnot and what's happening. I mean, is that was that part of the philosophy behind it, to spread knowledge along or, or through a wide group of people? Well, it, 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 there's a lot of philosophy behind all of it. Uh, we don't know if all of it's going to work. But that is definitely one of the things that we are interested in. Mm -hmm. um, but there are lots of people who can make all of these, you know, uh, the good tools for Flatter. Yeah. Uh, so we just we want to have a, a good philosophy for why we want to do it, and then yeah. make technology available for other people to use Flatter in yeah. their own systems. So it kind of democrat democratizes markets in a way because it allows people on the ground floor to get involved in or generating revenues. Definitely. So I, I see it as the one of the first mashups of uh, socialist plan economy and uh, capitalism. And uh, of course that has to come from Sweden. 